ring 2 um, front view circle CI enter 0 to be at the center hold shift to be ortho to be straight um, right click to do a new one 0 right click or enter if you're on Mac the new one will be a little bit larger we move it up and just to show you I'll um, I'll do on purpose some uh, circle here it's snapping you can press alt to uh, turn the snap off CI again for another circle escape I'm in the wrong command voilà. alt again to cancel snapping maybe one here alt and shift perfect to make this 3D extrude curve extrude CRV and we'll make it a little bit wider make sure solid is on so it's all cap it's a fully solid both sides to yes and uh, yeah make it wide like this right click to be in shaded and then we're going to use a curve you can type curve press alt so you're not or snapping it's very easy to snap on the wrong thing and with this curve you can put uh, a few points together to have a, a straight sharp edge if you want something like this on the outside it doesn't matter because we're gonna close it so to close it make sure you click on the last point if you need to t tweak anything F10 to show the point and you can move the point escape to hide I uh, actually want to move this up like way higher and we're going to do we're going to move it a little bit like this alt so you don't snap extrude curve again this time only one side like this and now I can switch I'm double clicking on the right view to maximize it and you can just to a little bit. If you just want a hair, you can go minus two. Uh, actually, four. It's positive, like this. And move it in a little bit using Alt. Now we can go MI to mirror zero because we are at the center. Hold Shift. And we're almost done. Um, now we're gonna do Boolean difference to cut and what's gonna who's gonna receive the cut the ring oops control click if you selected the wrong one again that's my day here the ring right click to go to the next question who is cutting who's subtracting those two enter or right click voila then you get this uh, it's a bit wide so we could also do this now alt and here you might need tiny fillet to fill this so fillet edge radius mm, point two for those one you can see the preview right click right click or enter enter and the other one we can do maybe point one or point oh five so you could just select the whole ring enter enter uh, this mean I asked something too tiny but he couldn't do uh, the fillet so I have to redo it for now I'm just gonna escape so yeah here it is um, you only do the fillet if you're gonna do rendering in Modo or V-Ray or Keyshot or whatever or Rhino 6 but if you're gonna 3D print or cast it, th uh, get the wax or 3D print still, the moment you buff it or you plate it, you'll get that uh, one thing. So that's it for this ring. The next ring, I wanted to show something um, before doing the before you move to the next video. I'll do it very fast here because on the next video you've got all of the explanation. 
but one thing I forgot to show on the following video that I would show now is that you can use different things. You could go rectangle, center, rounded and do a flat bottom and here you could go circle here do a little bit of a bigger one rebuilt like I said you have all of those explanations on the other one 16 or 32 to get more point F10 to show the point I think 32 would have been nicer but I just want to show you one thing that I forgot you could scale first of all just this way it's fine and before doing the sweep too you can record you can turn on record history so this is really what I want to show it's per comment and you can go sweep one rel cross section cross section enter and uh, enter close sweep so now we've got the ring but what I wanted to show is that because we recorded the history you can go back to this curve and you could scale it, you could change sorry, you could change the number of points press all so you're not and you see the other one will update. Voila!